And Stu, this is the Board of Selectmen meeting happening tonight, but part of the meeting is to decide whether or not the community wants to move forward with a name change uh, to give to the Port of Libraries. And those we spoke with today say they want to keep things the way they are. There is no question in my mind that it should stay Mount Escutney now and forever. Some residents that live near Mount Escutney say there's no need for a name change. This comes as the Vermont Board of Libraries is set to vote on the idea of changing the name to Mount Cascadinac next week. It has the authority of naming geographic places in Vermont. But the communities surrounding the mountain were caught off guard that the board was taking action so quickly. I would think that the Board of Libraries would understand that this would have a significant public interest given that there are so many things named after the mountain besides just the history and the connection most people in the area have. The push to change the name started two years ago with Heartland resident Rob Hutchins. He started getting people to sign a petition supporting the idea. NBC5 spoke with him in 2016. It seems to be uh, the Abenaki Indians really want it to be called Cascadinac. If you go back to the early settlers, when they were up here, they were calling it a Scutney, the mountain. The Indians, within earshot, we're calling it Cascadnac. But some people on Escutney think it should keep its current name. I would love for it to remain in the historical name. Let them keep it the way it is. It's always been to them, Mount Escutney, for a long, long time. And there's Little Escutney south of here. And if they've made the effort to keep this area pristine, then let them keep the name. Now, depending on what the decision is from the Board of Libraries, the proposal would go to the U.S. Board of Geographic Names, which sent a statement to NBC5 saying, quote, if the proponent of the change can demonstrate a compelling reason and there is evidence of local support, indeed, local acceptance of any name is important to the board, and so before it renders the final decision for federal use, the board staff solicits input from the interesting parties. Now, back here, out here live in uh, Windsor, the Board of Selectmen meeting begins at 7 o'clock and again is to determined uh, to give the community's opinion on whether or not they should move forward with the name change. Reporting live in Windsor, Matt Layton, NBC5 News.